everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Amanda the Wax Nerd and it has been many months since I last posted a video or was able to do a whole lot on YouTube. Um, everything's been good. Just had um, some stuff going on in life. We moved and my kiddo started kindergarten so there's just been a lot of life things to focus on so I had to put those on the front burner and put this on the back burner for a bit but things have calmed down a bit and I am back. And I am back today with something I'm super excited about. Um, I have my pre-order from Lavender and Speckles. This was the winter pre-order, uh, the winter pre-order from October and I just got this the other day. So I have been super excited to open it up. I just, you know, cut open the box and now I'm gonna start pulling out all the goodies and sniff through them. So stay tuned. We'll check out my ginormous Lavender and Speckles winter pre-order haul. Okay, so first up, Beth and Matt are the owners of Lavender and Speckles. They always include a nice postcard that says thank you and ask me to share your, your haul so you can get entered in a free giveaway. And that is a for real thing. I've actually won one, which was awesome. She sent me three full-size bags as some really nice scents so super cool worth doing and then the wax melting instructions for their different blends they have the parasoy bunt shapes and they have loaves tobes souffle cups which all are in a new olive oil wax formula which is super soft and i've gotten a sample of it but i so far just ordered the parasoy um blends just because i don't know just because that's what I've done so far, but I've heard that the olive oil ones are really good too. So I'm looking forward to trying that sometime. So they got that. Beth includes her card here. Lavenderandspecklessense.com if you'd like to check them out if you haven't already. And here we go. There's a beautiful tissue paper, very wintry snowflakes right on top. And oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can smell it from here. Oh man. Okay, so all the wormies and I see all my bars, my clamshells, which are a newer thing for them. Um, so this is actually my first time getting clamshells. I've gotten the shapes before and these are my first clamshells from Lavender and Speckles. So I'm excited. It's just kind of nice because, um, you know, a lot of places sell clamshells. So it's an easy storage. It's easy to just snap out the cubes and uh, they're a little bit less expensive, which is nice because I, I want to say they were $4 each, which is great because then that means you get to try a lot more scents. And I love to try new things. So this gave me an opportunity to get a bunch of different things to find out, you know, what my favorites will be. And then going forward, I can order larger sizes with confidence. Okay, so right off the bat, I see tucked in here a free sample. They're very nice and always include a free sample with your order. And this is one of their olive oil formulas because it's in a little tub. This is white pine and spruce and patchouli. Oh, I think it's a little out of focus. There we go. Ooh, I'm excited. That sounds really nice. And this is a really, really generous sample. Look how big that is. That'll be really nice to try that out. I'm gonna sniff it. Oh yeah, that smells great. I like tree scents. Um, and this one is a good one. And that patchouli, I feel like there's a little bit of a sweet note in here too, like maybe a hint of a berry. I like this a lot. Mmm, that smells amazing. I can't wait to warm that. Actually, I might even warm it today because we got our first snow yesterday. It didn't stick around, but still, it's starting to feel like the winter Christmas season and it's cold, so this is like the perfect blend to kick that the type of, you know, scent off for me because I've still been doing the fall melts most recently. So that is a good one. Okay, we're gonna jump right in <clears throat> to the clamshells. It looks like they might be stacked in here A to Z. So starting up at the top here, we've got Bake Sale. It is cinnamon sugar donuts blended with flaky pie crust and rich buttercream frosting. Oh uh, yeah, that smells good. Very nice. You definitely get the cinnamon sugar donuts. It's a nice and soft and sweet cinnamon. 
Oh, and that buttercream. Yeah, that smells great. It smells kind of like a cinnamon roll. Um, yeah, I really like that. That'll be great kitchen melt bake sale. And here we have bed and breakfast linens. So I'm typically not a laundry scent type of uh, person, but lately I've started to find I'm liking, you know, a few here and there. And my friend Amy with Happily Scented Life is a big fan of laundry scents. So I think she's rubbed off on me a bit too and made me want to branch out, try some more. So this one sounded really nice. It is fresh, strong laundry blended with cactus, musk, sea salt, sage, and mint. And I guess this used to be called uh, DN, but now it's called Bed and Breakfast Linens. I'm excited to try this one. It sounds really nice. Yeah, it is. It is definitely a laundry scent. That's foremost. What I get is like a clean, fresh laundry scent. But I do get that cactus. And a little bit of sea salt. I'm not really getting mint right now, but those are the scents I'm picking up primarily. And I would bet that those other notes come out when it's warmed. So that one smells really nice, bed and breakfast linens. Okay, this is so exciting because I'm pretty sure all of these scents are new to me. I don't think there's any scents I've had before in here. So everything's exciting and new. Blackberry marshmallow cookie pretzel. It's sweet blackberries, marshmallow balm, sugar cookies blended with pretzel. So salty, sweet, fruity. That sounds great. Ooh, that is good. Ooh, I like that. I get sugar cookie and blackberry. <clears throat> it's a nice, sweet blackberry. And I get some sweetness, like a buttercream in there. Maybe that's, that's probably the marshmallow. I think I maybe do get a hint of like the pretzel, but primarily I get like a sweet blackberry marshmallow scent coming through. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I like this. I'm having a hard time getting these out to smell the back, so there we go. Got it. It's cold, like I said, so get really in there. Yeah, this one's great so good that is blackberry marshmallow cookie pretzel yum um let's go here oh this one looks like it was labeled upside down that's funny uh this is breakfast with speckles it is coffee house and speckles birthday cake so it's birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo Santo. And it used to be called Breakfast at the Fly. Mmm, nice. You do good coffee. That's, and it's like a really nice, rich, welcoming coffee. The type of coffee scent you want in your, you know, house in the morning, especially. And I definitely get a sweetness and that nice Palo Santo. I love her Palo Santo. It's like, it's not too deep or, or woody. It's just like the perfect smooth woodiness. This is good. Yeah. So coffee and Palo Santo with some sweetness. That's what I'm picking up. Not too much spice. So those cinnamon notes aren't too terribly strong and I'm okay with that. That smells lovely. Breakfast with speckles. That'll be a really good melt in like this weekend perhaps. Breakfast with speckles. All right, I might begin a little bit out of, I'm not gonna try to do them necessarily in A to Z order perfectly, but it does look like that's how they stack them in here. Um, and I'm just gonna, So I'm just going to start pulling them out as I see them. And if they're a little out of order, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, Christmas Figgy Polo. 
black plums, juicy fig, fresh balsam, spiced cinnamon, vanilla, and palo santo. Oh, that is pretty, really pretty. I get the plum and the, um, the balsam. Yeah, that smells really nice. Yeah, that's, a, that's really nice. It's, uh, like I said, mostly I think the plums, maybe some of the fig I'm picking up, but largely it's the balsam. And that smells, again, just lovely. It's a really nice tree scent. It's not overpowering or too strong. It's just really lovely. I could see warming this, you know, beyond Christmas time. Christmas Figgy Palo. Next is Christmas trees and cookies. It is roasted pine cones, rich vanilla buttercream, and freshly baked sugar cookies ready to decorate. And she does actually have a mini pre-order coming up this weekend, I believe on Saturday. And I remember seeing this on the list and thinking, oh, that sounds good. So I'm happy to see that I thought that previously when it was available and I ordered one because now I don't need to order it in the mini pre-order. And I believe this is a blend that Charity Rose here on YouTube came up with. So this sounds really good. I'm looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, ooh, that's pretty. Buttercream, and I love best buttercream. You get the sugar cookie and the Christmas tree is just like sweet and light I think it might be more of a pine it's just like crisp but sweet and again not overpowering it's really nicely blended um oh yeah it's pine cones not Christmas tree but um maybe there's some pine in there too I don't know but it smells really nice I like this a lot And that is Christmas trees and cookies. Next is cranberry clove pine cones, sweet cranberries, spicy cloves, and roasted pine cones. It smells lovely. Yeah, the cloves aren't too spicy, but they definitely do lend a hint of sweet spiciness to those cranberries. I'm not really getting the pine cones. The cranberries taking center stage with the, the clove, but again, once you warm them, I bet I'll get a little bit more from that. A little bit more pine cones. That smells good. Cranberry, clove, pine cones. I mean, I expect to like everything because I picked... I don't think I really picked any wild cards. I picked largely things I was pretty sure I'd like. So I probably will like everything I'm pulling out here. Next is Christmas cheer. This is eggnog, pine cone, sugar cookie, and palo. Yes, sweet. Um, I'm getting the eggnog and the sugar cookie. It does smell like buttercream too to me. The Palo's there, nice and gentle, as well as the pine cone. So it's just like a sweet kind of woody, gentle scent. But I know it's gonna be like a strong scent when it when it warms because she has a really strong, nice buttercream. But yeah, that's lovely. Again, sweet and woodiness I think are always a good mix for me. And I like this. Very nice, Christmas cheer. Next up, ooh, I'm excited for this one, cotton candy laundry. I do like cotton candy scents. <clears throat> and as I said, I've been getting more into trying laundry scents. So this is cotton candy and the best, strongest laundry scent ever. So let's check it out, let's find out. Yes, that is good, ooh, I like that. It definitely has the laundry scent, but the cotton candy makes it nice and sweet. Yeah, that is really nice. I want to say, um, Amy, again, Happily Send It Homes here on YouTube. Check her out. She's great. I want to say that she had talked about this in a previous video and said that she really liked it. And yeah, again, with it being mixed with cotton candy, that's what made me go. Yeah, that sounds, 
That sounds like it could be up my alley. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. This might be like my go-to laundry scent going forward when you, you know, just want that kind of clean, fresh smell. Um, cottony, sweet with a candy. Yeah, it's really nice. I think this is my favorite laundry scent that I've tried so far. Um, just like in general from any vendor. So cotton candy laundry, I really like this. So I guess that kind of was my wild card and I ended up liking it. So yay. Up next, dreamy coconut cake, whipped coconut cake, vanilla buttercream, crunch cake, and vanilla buttercream. Yum, you do get the coconut and you do get the sweet cake. Interestingly, the buttercream and the vanilla aren't as strong on this one for me as they were in some of the other uh, blends I sniffed just, you know, a few minutes ago. So this one is definitely more, I think, that coconut coming through. I feel like there might be a hint of maple or molasses or something like that in here. But yeah, that smells nice. Coconut cake and yeah, I feel like there's maple. So that's nice, a good kitchen scent, um, dreamy coconut cake. Up next is fall foliage, cranberry woods, roasted pine cones, and leaves. That's pretty. Right off the bat, you get the sweet cranberry. But it's not overly sweet. It actually is like a little tart too. It's like a sweet tart cranberry, not spiced. And you do get a light kind of woodiness from the other elements here. Yeah, that's nice. Cranberry is the star, but it is smoothed out by those more woody um, earthy notes but it's very it's not like overly woody or sweet if that type of thing scares you it's it doesn't come off that way to me at all this is a really nice gentle um woody like gentle in fact in sorry let me say this <laughs> better it's gentle in the woodiness but this is a nice nice strawberry strong scent to me fall foliage i think this will be really nice going through the winter season with the cranberry note so that's nice. I'm looking forward to trying that. Fall foliage. Oh, cranberry cream. Or wait, no. Cranberry musk. Cranberry musk is sweet cranberries and icy vanilla woods. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, the muskiness, it's um, kind of soapy, but in a good way. I like that. So... Yeah, you do get the sweet cranberries, but I feel like that icy vanilla woods, which I don't have those scent notes off the top of my head, but I feel like that must be what's coming through more. That is nice. It's like, I think a hint of citrus in here, maybe. Yeah, that is good. That is, I keep, I keep sniffing it. Like I can't get enough of this one. That is nice. Cranberry musk. I don't know that I've tried Icy Vanilla Woods in any blends before this or smelled it. So I've heard of it, but I don't think I've tried it. So apparently I must like it because yeah, that's really good. Cranberry musk. I'm definitely going to put this in my melting basket for real soon. Next up is Fall Sweater. Super cozy blend of sweater weather, flannel, and warm vanilla sugar. All types. Um, I think... I think they might all be Bath and Body Works. If somebody knows uh, off the top of their head, please feel free to put it in the comments, but I wanna say they're all Bath and Body Works. And I know I love warm vanilla sugar, so I'm excited and I love cozy scents, so I'm expecting to like this sweet, cozy, fall, winter, warm vanilla sugar. Ugh, sounds amazing. Let's see if I love it. Yes, I love it. I do. I love this. Wow. This smells so good. 
I don't know if it's sweater weather or flannel that I'm primarily getting here. And I don't remember the notes, but it smells to me like, um, kind of like a cashmere scent. Sweet, but like not powdery, but bordering on it. It's just like a pretty scent. Like I would wear this as a perfume and I would love it if <clears throat> everything in my house smelled like this. I'm not really picking up on the warm vanilla sugar, so it must just blend really nicely with all the other things in here. And oh, I love this. Okay, this fall sweater, that's a winner. I, I love this, can't wait to warm it. Next up, oh, here we go. I was just saying, Icy Vanilla Woods, I must really like it. Here's the Icy Vanilla Woods type all by itself so I can see what it's like on its own. And it is lavender, vanilla, woods, and musk. Well, no wonder I like it. I love all those scent notes. And I think they're beautiful together. Okay, that is really good. I will say, I like... I like the other blend better that had it mixed with the cranberries. Like it is nice, very nice, but I like the cranberry musk better, which had the icy vanilla woods plus the sweet cranberries. So I guess that extra edge with the sweet tart cranberry um, gives it something that works better for me. So that's good, I like it though. Up next is lavender tea and cakes. Fresh lavender sprigs with the aroma of warm, rich tea steeping beside a fresh slice of cake. This formerly was called DAR. That is really nice. It's like a nice, sweet, fresh lavender. Not overly herbal or anything. And the cake. The tea, I don't know that I'm picking up on that as well. I'm sure it's just blending in with all the you know other beautiful notes and just making its own unique blend here. That is really nice. It might be, I feel like maybe more of a spring scent, so I might warm this more in like February or March when it starts to warm up. And when it starts to warm up and like springs on the horizon. That is really lovely. I like this a lot. Lavender tea and cakes. Next up is lilac fireside marshmallow. Fresh lilacs blended with, blended with sweet and smoky fireside marshmallow. So this one, I'm, a, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna like it. Um, I love lilac and I've liked every um, lilac blend I've tried so far from Lavender and Speckles, but I'm sometimes not a big fan, usually, I'm not usually a big fan of smoky scents, but because it's sweet and smoky with the marshmallow, I thought it was worth trying, and I was intrigued by a winter, you know, kind of lilac blend. So, Lilac Fire Side Marshmallow, let's see. Ooh, it's nice. Of course, once it's warm, will be the real test to see how smoky it is. But that lilac is so pretty. Oh, if you like lilac scents, you'll like hers. I'm just certain of it. It's my favorite lilac. I love this. Even if you don't normally like lilac, but you like floral scents, might be worth a try. I don't know. I don't want to steer you wrong if you hate lilac, but um, I love it, and I think this is really nice. Lilac Fireside Marshmallow. Next up is Palo Santa. It's Donut Shop, Palo, which is uh, mixed with Palo, um, and the Donut Shop blend is cinnamon, sugar, donuts, and Palo Santo, plus roasted pine cones. Oh, nice. Yes, I love her donut shop. It's like warm and cozy and sweet with the cinnamon and vanilla. Just, 
Ugh, it does. It smells like you walked into or just like opened a fresh box of these donuts and want to eat them. It smells amazing. And the roasted pine cones give a little bit of roasty toastiness. Ugh, Palo Santo, again, her Palo Santo is so good for me. It's not overly strong or smoky or woody. It's just like this beautiful, ugh, just this beautiful kind of like woodiness that is just present without being too strong or too light. And I just love it. Palo Santa. Yes, Palo Santa. I'm glad I got this on its own. I know she's mixed this with a bunch of other things in her upcoming uh, blend list. I really like this. It's lovely. Next up, Nectarine Nordic Nights. It's vanilla bean nectarine, snow covered pines, and Arctic wind. So this one is a sort of a wild card. Um, I'm not sure about the nectarine, but I was really intrigued by the pot, uh, like the mixture of it with the winter notes and being in a winter blend. So I wanted to see what this was like. Oh, that's really good. It's like woody. Oh man, those pines. I love pine scents. That's really pretty. Uh, you get the, the pines, the nectarine is just like a really lovely sweetness without being too tart. I like this a lot. I am so glad I got this. The vanilla bean is not buttercreamy at all. It's just like a sweet vanilla. Very subtle. Oh, that's good. Super glad I took a chance on this. Nectarine Nordic Nights. That smells awesome. <clears throat> Next up is Matt's Breakfast Blend. It is coffee snob, pie crust, fresh, fresh baked bread, and sopapilla. Um, and so I think some people were asking, what is sopapilla? So if you don't know, it's like a um, cinnamon honey, I think, fried pastry. Um, I know I've had it at, like Mexican restaurants before and it's delicious. So every note in here sounds good to me. I'd love to try it together. Yeah. Ooh, good. So good. I like that coffee note. It's a little bit different from the, um, coffee blend I had earlier in the Christmas or the speckles. Um, what was it called? breakfast with speckles. I think this might be a different type of um, coffee note. Like, it smells like it's maybe blended with like some cream or something, or it might be a coffee bean, but it's really good. And I love the, the um, bakery elements that are in here. It's not overly sweet. That is really nice. Mass breakfast blend. Next is Lavender Girl. It's sweet lavender buttercream mixes with ocean air and apples. Oh, I'm so excited. That is pretty. I was intrigued by the combo of the apple and the ocean air mixed with the sweet lavender buttercream. Okay, they all blend really beautifully. No one note is sticking out more than the other, but I'm definitely getting like, a, like an ocean salty air and a sweet buttercream and the sweet apple like the skin and all the lavender is very subtle but lovely this is really pretty okay that is absolutely lovely i i really like that combo here of these different scents and this is going to be a bedroom scent for me um yeah i really like this lavender girl next is morning cup of christmas fresh coffee blended with sugar cookies peppermint and a hint of balsam fir yeah very nice it is the coffee fresh coffee yes and it is just a little sweetened. This is like 
masterfully, masterfully blended. The sugar cookie is nice and sweet. The peppermint is not too strong. I like peppermint personally, but um, it's not overly strong. It's not overpowering anyway. It's just like a hint of butter or a hint of peppermint and it's really lovely. And the hint of balsam fir, yeah. It's not, I wouldn't say it's like a tree scent, but there definitely is a hint of the balsam fir and it's a nice sweet, just like background part of it. Oh, but I hope it gets stronger. You know, the more I sniff it, the more I can smell it, that note. And I personally love balsam fir. And I hope that comes out even more when it warms. That is really nice. Like that totally does smell like Christmas morning. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that balsam fir, like it would have been good anyway, but I think that balsam fir really makes this one for me really special in particular. I love this. Morning cup of Christmas. Next, oh, this one was tucked in the side. Charming Small Town. This is vanilla, sugarcane, cypress, rosemary, sweet mint, and dark teak wood blended with Palo Santo, formerly called Stars H. Oh, that is good. I don't, I expected this to be uh, like a deeper, you know, with a teak wood. I thought it was going to be more of like a darker kind of wood scent but this is like light and so pretty like it's got the sweetness with the like the vanilla and sugar cane and a little bit of the sweet mint again black like blended so well no scents are standing out above another they're just like a really lovely mix all together i really like this one too For me, this will be a bedroom scent. I don't know if it's going to be super strong. This might be one of those scents that like chugs along kind of in the background. It doesn't hit you in the face, but it just makes everything smell amazing. Again, I've never worn this, so I don't know, but that's kind of the impression I'm getting from the cold sniff. But ooh, I'm excited to warm this in my bedroom. Charming small town. I still have like half a box to go. There are so many clamshells in here. Peanut butter, apple donuts, and zucchini bread. Okay, let's do this. I'm excited. Okay, apple for sure. Sweet. The peanut butter is not too strong. It's just like very subtle. I know all these scent notes are there and it blends really nicely, but the apple is what I'm picking up on the most and I'm okay with that. This smells really good. This is like a really nice fall scent. Well, honestly, really anytime. Like if you like apple scents, this is a really nice apple scent, I think. So peanut butter, apple donuts, and zucchini bread, really lovely. Next is pink zucchini bread, strawberry pound cake plus pink, plus pink sugar and zucchini bread. Love it. Yes, that is great. Strawberry pound, strawberry pound cake and zucchini bread blending really well. Just a nice kind of red scent with the pink sugar it gives it that nice sweetness which I really like I could uh, even see warming this one in the bedroom yeah I don't know if I'll do this in the kitchen or bedroom but that smells awesome I like that pink zucchini bread I'm so glad I'm loving everything <laughs> okay peach pie filling and cinnamon dough um, and the extra note here is frosting. So peach pie filling, cinnamon dough, and frosting. Okay. This is probably my least favorite on cold so far. And it was a bit of a wild card because I'm iffy on peach sometimes. 
this one smells kind of like a not fully ripe peach. It's not like a thick, juicy, ripe peach. It smells like it's needs to develop a little bit more, maybe. It reads almost a little bit artificial to me. And I guess I am picking up on the, the dough and frosting a little bit, but it's mostly the peach. I'm not really getting any spicy cinnamon or sweet cinnamon. I'm not really getting any spice. It's mostly just that peach. So um, I'm not sure I'll love this one, but I'll definitely warm it probably this spring and, you know, see how it goes. But like I said, this was a wild card. I'm not, I'm not usually a big peach person, but um if you like peach, obviously worth a try. Peach pie filling and cinnamon dough. Next is Oh Christmas Tree, roasted pine cones and Palo Santo. Mmm, that smells so good. Yeah, I love roasted pine cones. There's just something so nice about that. That's not no. And it smells really good with the Palo Santo. This, I'm not getting any like really strong Christmas tree. Like I'm not getting spruce or pine or balsam or anything like that on this one. It's like you're getting the tree, not the, the branches or the leaves. It's like the nice woody notes. So that's nice though. I like it. Oh, Christmas tree, very good. Next is pine cones and spice plus sugar cookies, which is roasted pine cones blended with cinnamon buns and creamy frosting with a touch of pumpkin pie spice and now sugar cookies for a hint of sweetness. Mm, that's good. You get the pine cone, you get the sugar cookie sweetness, and you get that cinnamon. Yeah, I like it. I think there might be, it might be buttercream frosting. It doesn't specify, but that smells really nice. It definitely is a great, um, it reminds me a bit of cinnamon and pine, uh, cinnamon pine cones from Scentsy with, you know, some extra elements here, I think, but yeah, that smells really good. I think that's a really nice winter blend, fall too. And that is, uh, and that is pine cones and spice plus sugar cookies. Next is pink Christmas trees, which is pink sugar, vanilla birch, and vanilla bean noel. So pretty. Oh, so pretty. Vanilla birch. Love it. Pink sugar with a sweet little topping there. And I can't remember the scent notes of vanilla bean noel. But this is really good. I like this a lot. It reminds me um, probably that vanilla birch note with the sweetness from pink sugar and vanilla bean noel. It's a little bit different from um, what I'm thinking of, but it smells similar in some ways, like a twist on it, which I love um, because the, the one I'm thinking of that it reminds me of is birch and buttercream from my friend Veronica at Melting Memories. That one is like birch and buttercream is like my all time hands down favorite scent of everything. Um, I just absolutely am obsessed with it. And this reminds me of a version of it. So I really like this one. Pink Christmas trees is great. Next is plum sugar cookies and zucchini bread. It is juicy plums, vanilla butter, fresh baked sugar cookies and zucchini bread. sugar cookies and zucchini bread you do get some sweet plums vanilla butter this is really good so sweet it reminds me a bit of Sensi's rum plum plum a little bit different but they're 
there's a lot of similarities and I think the, kind of the vibe and the overall smell of that and I love that scent and I love this this is really good can't wait to warm that this winter plum sugar cookies zucchini bread Next is Pretty and Sweet, Soft Pink Chiffon, blended with Cashmere Musk and Sweet Strawberry Pound Cake. Okay, very pretty. This is definitely a bedroom scent. There's like a soapy, kind of powdery note to it, which I, which I do like here. I'm guessing that might be the Cashmere Musk. Yeah, there's something about this I really like it. And you do get the strawberry coming in from the strawberry pound cake. And that is really good. Yeah, it is pretty and sweet. I, I'm really looking forward to that in the bedroom. Pretty and sweet. It meets its name for sure. Next is one I've been wanting to try for a while now. Um, or at least a version of it. Pumpkin and Masala Donuts. Pumpkin Sugar Donuts. That sounds amazing. The Masala Chai is the note that I'm, um, that I haven't tried from her yet, and I'm really curious about that. Um, but eggnog and buttercream. That all smells good. I'm just not sure how spicy the Masala Chai will be, because I like chai, but I'm not sure what Masala Chai, how it differs. So let's try this. Oh, that smells really good. It's pretty. It's not too spicy at all. You definitely get some pumpkin, like a pumpkin spice note. The creamy eggnog. Not too much of the buttercream for me on this one. And the chai is really nice. Yeah, that smells good. I don't know if this is going to end up being like an absolute favorite, but it is really nice. And I know I'll enjoy warming this. I think uh, fall in particular, this is this is really good. Pumpkin and masala donuts. Next is Snickerdoodle. I guess it's just straight up Snickerdoodle cookies. <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, yeah. Um. It's not super strong. It's kind of a lighter note here. Like I can't decide if it smells like snickerdoodle dough or freshly baked cookies. And I, I do love snickerdoodles. But it's, this is a very subtle one. I do get a little bit of the cinnamon and sweetness. I'm not sure how strong of a performer this will be. But it is nice. I mean, it smells good. I'll warm it in my kitchen, and I bet it'll be, bet it'll be lovely. Snickerdoodle, and I could see this being a good mixer too. Okay, I'm so excited for this one. I wanted to try this in a previous pre-order, and I ended up going with something else. So I'm super, super glad that it was offered again because I don't know what it is. It's just something about this scent. Is super intriguing to me. Salty butterscotch pine cones. It just sounds so good. So yummy butterscotch, salted butterscotch type, blended with roasted pine cones. Yeah, that's really good. It, I mean, it's not blowing my mind. For some reason, it just like was really hyped up in my head that like that sounds absolutely amazing. But it does smell good. The butterscotch isn't too sweet or too strong actually, but it does have that sweet, um, kind of warm, caramelly, um, sweet note to it. And the roasted pine cones are there. That's good. So yeah, this will be probably the kitchen, but I could almost see warming this in the bedroom because it's not overly bakery and I think it will be nice and sweet. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be a strong performer for my open layout. Again, I've moved, so I'm in a new space and I'm, I've been getting used to how scents perform differently in this house layout, uh, this home and layout versus my old house. So it is very different. I'm finding that with the open layout, I've really got to 
put more warmers, scatter them about, and warm a lot more wax than I'm used to. So this may end up needing to be a smaller space one for me. We'll see. But salted, or er, um, salty butternut. Oh my gosh. Let's try again. It smells nice, and it is salty butterscotch pine cones. <clears throat> I'm glad I finally got a chance to sniff it. Oh, and I got two of them. I guess I was just so sure I'd love it, or else I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to put it in there twice, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah, it smells good. It smells good. Actually, it might end up working out well that I have two because then it might do really well in my open layout with two of them. Yeah, okay, cool. Next is sugar chestnuts and zucchini bread. It's vanilla wafers, zucchini bread, chestnuts, and brown sugar with salted caramel and Palo Santo. That's nice. The roasted chestnuts mm. and the zucchini bread. They're like nice and warm, kind of a savory sweet note to me, which I really enjoy. Yeah, it smells good. It's um, Again, it smells like kind of a, maybe a lighter, like it could be a lighter performer, but I do really like that chestnut and zucchini bread scent together, and those are primarily what I'm getting. It smells really nice. Sugar chestnuts and zucchini bread. We're getting towards the bottom here. Okay. Next is Snow Days. Spruce branches, peppermint, and sweet vanilla type. That sounds so good. And it is... Yes, vanilla and peppermint, such a good blend for the winter. So sweet, and with those branches, what is it, spruce branches, yes. Oh, it's like sweet, woody, Christmassy. I love it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, yes, this is a great winter, winter scent. Snow days, I can't wait to warm this. I'll probably do this in the bedroom, but I could warm it in my open layout too, I think, perhaps. Really nice. Next up is Sweet Ginger and Spiced Amber. It is a combo of ginger crystallized in sugar, dusted with cinnamon, and cardamom with spiced amber. So interesting. Okay. <clears throat> really pretty yeah ginger and amber with sweet crystallized sugar dusted in cinnamon the cinnamon and cardamom are there oh, they're really nice together the cinnamon is not too strong this is really nice yeah I like that really good uh, cold weather blend sweet ginger and spiced amber. Um, again, I can see this in the kitchen or in the bedroom, but that's really nice. Next is sweet pretzel bread. Salty pretzels blended with sweet white cake and zucchini bread. It used to be called, I think, these Market. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Okay, I love this combo. I am a bakery gal and I love the salty pretzels here with that yummy zucchini bread, which is the hint of the sweet white cake with like maybe a vanilla frosting on it, it smells like. So yummy, so delicious. Love that. I would warm this any time of year in any room but it would obviously do really well in the kitchen in particular. Sweet pretzel bread. I would definitely get a bigger one of that next time if this performs well. Next is strawberry balsam. It is sweet strawberry and balsam fir, and Beth has noted that she's pretty sure this is her new favorite tree scent. So I like strawberry and balsam, and her speaking so highly of it made me wanna give it a shot. I hope I love it as much as she does. Oh yeah, so pretty. Yeah, the balsam. 
the balsam fir is definitely there, but it's sweet with the strawberry. It's not, oh, that's really good. I'm not used to smelling strawberry with balsam fir, but it does really work. It's just nice and sweet without being like too much, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, looking forward to trying that. I'll probably do that in the bedroom, I think. Yeah, strawberry balsam, that smells really nice. I think it could go anywhere because it seems like a strong scent and the combo of notes would work well for me anywhere, but yeah, I think it'd be especially lovely in the bedroom. Mm, like it, strawberry balsam. Next is spiced orange cake with buttercream drizzle. It's orange Danish, cinnamon spice cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of freshly squeezed oranges. God, that just sounds so good. Oh, that is good. Okay, it totally does smell like this orange Danish, I this orange scone I like to get from Panera Bread. If you know, you know, it's so freaking good. So it smells like that with a, a squeeze of fresh orange juice. Mm, and there's some cinnamon sweetness. So that must be the cinnamon spice cake. The vanilla buttercream isn't uh, coming up strong for me on this one. So I'm guessing there's... It's more uh, in the background for me there. Just blending in with everything. And that's fine. I love her vanilla buttercream, but man the orange danish note is so good and it really takes the stage here i love this Ugh, makes me want to go to panera right now and get one of those danishes or uh one of those uh stones so yeah that is really freaking good oh i love 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 it i'm gonna smell it again So good. Love this. Spiced orange cake with buttercream drizzle. And something about that orange note too just popped into my brain that it reminds me of. Um, you know those orange, uh, those chocolate oranges where it's wrapped in foil and you smack it and then it separates into different chocolate pieces with the, like, that look like little orange segments? I love those. I get those every Christmas. It's a family tradition since I was a kid. It doesn't smell chocolatey. This does not smell chocolatey. But that orange note that's in that chocolate orange is what this reminds me of a little bit with the orange note here. So it's a very lovely scent memory connection for me. And I am, I'm loving this. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Spiced orange cake with buttercream drizzle. Okay, just a few left. I think four, maybe. Okay, Vanilla Surf. I have been wanting to try this since she um, first started offering it a few months back. And I finally got it. So this is her her take on Sensi's Vanilla Waves. So I'm excited to try this because I do love that scent. I did stock up <laughs> during the recent flash sale where they were selling it for $1.20 per bar. I stocked up, so I'm I'm good on that for a while, but of course, I always want to try, you know, other people's takes on it. So Vanilla Surf is creamy vanilla, toasted marshmallow, driftwood, and sea salt with a touch of caramel. Sounds amazing. Oh yeah, that smells good. It smells so much like Vanilla Waves. I don't have one in front of me or else I'd smell them side by side. But yeah, this, this smells a lot like Vanilla Waves to me. <laughs> like you definitely get the, the sea salt caramel and the vanilla. I'm not sure if... It might be the driftwood. Like it smells like gosh like 99% like vanilla waves but it does almost seem like there's like a little extra something that's like super subtle but there and you can pick up on it and it gives it a little something different and I like that and I think it's maybe that driftwood not that it's a woody scent at all here but it does give I think maybe a little extra something I don't know I know I've heard other people 
say that they thought it was super close as well to Vanilla Waves, and I agree. This smells really good. Vanilla Surf, it's, um, Vanilla Surf, it's really nice. I like it, and it does smell, gosh, almost exactly, I think, like Vanilla Waves from Scentsy. So, if you're missing that, this could be a good alternative for you. Love it. <clears throat> Oh, there's more than I thought. There's something tucked in the back of this um, pile of little wormy things. Okay, next is vanilla pine cones. Yeah, nice. Smells like vanilla pine cones. Nice and sweet. Nice and roasty, toasty pine cones. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Really nice. Can't go wrong with that. Like, honestly, I'd worn this year round anywhere. Vanilla pine cones, really good. Next is Winter Wonderland, which is balsam fir, hint of dirt, which I like. Roasted pine cones, fresh mountain air, marshmallow fireside, and snowy mint. Yeah, that's good. Everything's blending together really well. You get the mountain air, the snow, and the sweetness of the, um, the balsam fir. The hint of dirt is so subtle, but yeah, I do kind of pick up on that. Like, you just know how when it's snowed, the ground is wet underneath. And that's kind of like what you're picking up, up on. When you move over it and you pick up the snow and the dirt, or the mud, that's kind of what you pick up on. But it's super subtle, so don't don't be afraid of that. Just adds a nice, realistic touch. I like this a lot. Maybe a hint of smokiness with that fire uh, marshmallow fireside. Yeah. Really nice. I like that. Winter Wonderland. Next is Visions of Sugar Plums. Dark, juicy plums, tangerine, a tiny hint of spice, and cotton candy frosting. <clears throat> That is pretty, very sweet. Plums, tangerine, yeah. With the cotton candy, interesting. Yeah, there is a tiny hint of spice. Yeah, this is nice. It reminds me a bit of Scentsy's Dancing Sugar Plums, which I happen to love. I don't know that it's a dupe, but it does have a similar um, scent to it and a vibe that is similar. Yeah, that's pretty. That's nice. I like this. Very appropriate for the holiday season. Visions of sugar plums. Really sweet. Very nice. Next is toasted pistachio birthday bread. It's toasted pistachios, birthday cake, vanilla waffle cones, all blended with zucchini bread. So I'm expecting it to be uh, kind of sweet and nutty. Oh yeah. Ooh, it is. Yes. Even more than I imagined. You really pick up on the toasted pistachios here. First and foremost, and it keeps going and going. This is good. And I think that's vanilla waffle cone blending in too, because there is kind of like a waffly note. Not maple, but like just the vanilla cone from like an ice cream cone. Ugh, and the zucchini bread. Makes everything better. <laughs> I think you could put it with anything. Birthday cake. <sighs> Sweet birthday cake. Oh, that is really good. Yeah, I like this even more than I thought I would. I can't stop sniffing it. This is, I think, the best toasted uh, pistachio note I have tried so far. Mmm, toasted pistachio, zucchini bread, waffle cones, vanilla birthday cake. 
yes, all those things, but especially the toasted pistachio mixed with the zucchini bread is what I'm picking up. That is like a, not savory, but it's like a warm kind of toasty bakery blend. It's not overly sweet at all. This is really nice. Toasted pistachio birthday bread. Oh my gosh, I think we've finally reached the bottom. We have found the last one. I'm feeling around to make sure I haven't overlooked something tucked in the side or the bottom. Yep, I think this is it. Last one, guys. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging in for those of you that are still watching. I know this is a really long video, but it was a big order. Okay, toasted macadamia and salted caramel, which is Brazilian Crush 71 type. So it's caramelized vanilla and sea salt blended with the rich and nutty scent of toasted macadamia nuts. I do love nutty scents, so I'm hoping this is nice and nutty. Oh, so good, so pretty. That is lovely. You do get the vanilla and the sea salt. And the macadamia nuts are there and nutty and rich. But it's like a creamy smooth. It's not like that toasted pistachio note. I love them both, but they're different. Uh, it's so smooth and sweet. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I want to eat this. I want to wear it. I want it year round. I think bedroom. Because it could go in the kitchen because it is sweet and very nice like that. But I don't know, something about it has a hint of like sexiness. It seems like it should be in the bedroom. Plus, I don't know if it's going to be a super strong performer or not. Just because, you know, these type of scents sometimes are a little bit lighter and do better in smaller spaces. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll warm this in the bedroom and see how it does. Um, it smells amazing, so I'm hoping it performs well. Yeah, that smells so good. So, toasted macadamia and salted caramel. Brazilian, Brazilian crush, anyway. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for sticking through to the end. Um, that's my haul. I think I caught a lot of really good ones. And as I sniffed through, I tried to pile the ones I was especially excited by to the side. Um, again, I with like maybe one or two, like I would say, I like everything. Some obviously I like more than others. Um, but to just try to quickly kind of rank... Um, I would say that just like right off the bat, my least favorite would probably be that peach one. What was it, peach? There we go. I would say this was my least favorite, peach pie filling and cinnamon dough, just because I don't, again, I'm not a big peach fan, um, but I was taking a shot to see if it was good for me. and. I don't know, the peach note didn't really do it for me, so this is probably my least favorite. That said, I will still warm it. It smelled nice enough, definitely, to give it a go. But if I had to pick, oh gosh, I'm looking at my piles, and again, I liked most of everything. So it was difficult, and of course my opinions could change after I warm them, but just on cold, I've got like half the pile in my favorites. Uh, possibilities pile. So let's see. Okay. I just smelled all the favorites to kind of just see what in particular were ones that I felt were especially exciting or interesting um, or different that got me, you know, feeling like this is something or something that was especially kind of unique that you would really make a point of getting from a certain vendor that's just a step above maybe a similar scent that you could get elsewhere. So I compared the three coffee scents I got. They are all really good and they are all a little bit different. I think I would say I like, oh, I think I like the Breakfast and Speckles the best. They're all so good, so it's hard to choose, but I really like this one and it's sweet and I feel like I could wear that year round. So I think this might be my favorite coffee one. And then as for the others, <clears throat> I have narrowed it down to my top 10. So in no particular order, I think these are the ones I'm especially 
um, into plum sugar cookies zucchini bread. Pretty and sweet. Cranberry musk. Fall sweater. Nectarine Nordic Nights. Charming Small Town. Strawberry Balsam. Spiced Orange Cake with Buttercream Drizzle. Lavender Girl. And Pink Christmas Trees. That rounds out my top 10 there. Um, gosh, it was, it was all so good. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul. I would love to hear from you if you did an order. I'd love to hear what you got, if you have any favorites from your order. And uh, if you have a video, I'm going to have to go and check out because I want to see what everyone else got too. So yeah, it was really fun getting back on here and sniffing through my massive haul. Um, great job, Beth and Matt. <clears throat> Once again, you have proved yourself as fantastic makers of these melts. I really love the blends they create. Um, I've ordered from them several times now and have a pretty good collection. One of my favorite vendors, just really, really lovely blends. So thank you so much to them and thank you everyone for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.